Hey guys, Scott Johnson with Pip Home Buyers here. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday. Yeah, yes, I work on Sundays sometimes. Over in the uh, Clevewood subdivision in Winterville, North Carolina. In fact, right now we're actually off of Corbett Street over here, right on the corner of Edgewater as well. It's right behind me. What's funny is we actually used to live in the neighborhood neighboring this one over in Canterbury. Uh, since then they've connected it and it used to be a big thing. We'd kind of like jump over into the other neighborhood when we weren't supposed to and kind of sneak around. But uh, anyway, so he I'm here today because I want to talk to you guys about how to stop foreclosure at the last minute. All right, so look, foreclosure is already a tough situation. And as we've discussed in prior videos, you know, it, the longer you wait, the harder it's going to get on your end. All right, so basically a couple ways you can stop foreclosure at the last minute, especially in Greenville, North Carolina or Winterville, is going to be to bring the cash to the table to bring those payments current. That is like numero uno. Now you can do that in a couple of ways. You could do a private loan from friends and family. You could see if you could use a credit line or something of that sort to bring those payments up to date. But even then, that may not fix the problem because what if something happened and you lost a job or you're going through a divorce and you don't have that extra income to be able to even make that mortgage payment? That makes, makes things a lot harder. So luckily, we actually specialize in stopping foreclosure at the last minute. We prefer not to because as I said, it gets harder for you the longer you wait because there's more money needed to be able to put down towards the property to stop that foreclosure dead in its tracks. All right, so it's very tricky. Um, now, in this case, the property we're going to take a look at has already been through that process and is actually listed with a realtor as a foreclosed property, likely a real estate owned. And I'm going to tell you flat out, that makes things harder for us. All right, so just a little dive into what happens once a property is foreclosed on. Let's say we're looking to buy a property and it's been foreclosed on, okay? If the bank holds it, what they're going to do is a couple of different things. The main thing that makes it a real thorn in our side is that what we have to do is we go through the property, take a look at it, which obviously in this market, it's like hot as hell. So not, not like hot, warm, but the property is just selling fast. So obviously we have to run to get to that just to even take a look at it. But on top of that, what we have to do is we have to put in a bid and they, the bank then holds those bids to make sure that, you know, Everything is in accord and they take the one that they get the most money on ultimately is what they do. Um, so that kind of makes it challenging because obviously the bank doesn't talk about, oh, well, those are the other bids that we got from other people, right? Um, the other thing that makes it really difficult for us is that, oh, wow, I just lost my train of thought. It's probably because I'm talking too fast and it's a beautiful day out here. Um, the other thing that really makes it difficult for us I officially can't remember now. Okay, that's okay. Anyway, so the best way to stop foreclosure in at the last minute though is to gonna be to get in contact with us as soon as possible. As soon as you miss that first payment, even if you know you're gonna be able to catch up. Remember, once you miss that first payment, you are in foreclosure. Right? It's not just them slapping a late fee on you and saying, okay, here we go, just pay the late fee and you're good. No, no, no. You have officially defaulted on that loan, okay? Oh, oh, the other thing that was a real pain in the butt for us is that we have to also, with our, you know, with our bid or our offer, we have to show proof of funds. Now, it's not a huge issue because we usually finance our own deals, but on occasion we'll also use private lending or something like that, or even a bank, and we have to get that first in order to be able to even sh put an offer in. So it's kind of a pain in the butt for us, but at the same time. So um, anyway, if you find yourself or you or a family member find yourself in a situation where you need to stop foreclosure, like at the last minute, call us immediately. Got the number above. Just let us know. We're here to help. Thanks so much. And I hope this was informational or I hope you guys learned a lot from this. And if you have any questions, just let me know.